Hey man, back in action, we back in the action. Now we're gonna do a little bit of a different video today. I like to do these every once in a while because this is like real name brand talking to you and not the hyped up retard that you usually listen to, which is sick. Also filming in the washroom because I feel this lighting is super dope. It kind of makes me look a little bit more tan than I am. Half black, if you will, right here, and I kind of dig it. So I wanted to make this video for a little bit of inspirational purposes. Now let's get down to uh, what we've talked about in a heavy video in the past. I talked about in a heavy video in the past how I like drinking a lot. And at one point I almost, I didn't say that I have a drinking issue, but I hinted that I drink too much and maybe it's a problem, which pretty much says I have a drinking issue. I pondered on that idea for a little bit. I actually did some soul searching, which is really crazy to hear. You wouldn't think Neymar is smart enough to actually search within his soul. However, I believe in ghosts, so I try to search within my soul. And often enough so I know when I go to heaven I'll have control of that bitch or hell or wherever the fuck I'm going. Anyway, the drinking thing. Let's just start back to the main point of where my drinking got really heavy. I just want to give you all the backstory then we're going to get out to where I am now. Yeah, listen up if you guys want to. If you guys don't care about this video, I don't give a fuck. This is for the real name brand fam. This all started, well first off, when I was like, I started drinking at 16. Now my whole mentality around drinking is I was always calorie conscious. So I'll never just have one beer and chill, or at least back then, I'd have like multiple beers. I'd drink to get drunk, which I think a lot of younger kids do. I'm not saying drink at that age, but that's the age a lot of people start drinking in Canada because it's legal at like 18. Don't do that, I'm not saying that. So anyway, I was always a partier, da 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 da. Then when my dad passed away, and I know a lot of things come back to when my dad passed away, but this is a point in my life where I feel like I started handling things a little bit differently, probably the way that I shouldn't have been handling things. When my dad passed away, all of a sudden I went from like drinking every once in a while, getting fucking drunk, to it became a habit for the next month to drink every single day, like a 24 pack, it's fucking lit, it wasn't lit, but I was just trying to like drain my mind of like all this shit that was going on, da 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 da. I found alcohol was the reason, or the, the purpose that I had, or whatever. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It, it, was, it was a cure at that moment. Now, after my dad passed away, this alcohol, like what I thought was normal drinking of alcohol at this point, because I had been doing it for so long, became a norm because when I met my girlfriend. God, God bless her. God rest her soul. No, she's not dead. God, God bless the bitch. Not bitch. That's bad. God bless her. Love her to death. Sarah, love you. Sick. Awesome. <laughs> so, uh, when I met her, all of a sudden, this, uh, this drink name brand um, started really drinking uh, making it a normal thing cuz she's a server in the server industry a lot of them like to party I don't know if y'all know this I don't know if y'all are in the server industry or not but it's like party central people are popping coke and pills left right and center depending on the crowd you're hanging out with but that's generally a thing they do one thing I gotta say I don't touch coke I don't touch pills I don't touch any sort of like drug like that except for alcohol because it is a drug it's a substance and also I touch weed every once in a while now that became the norm and then I started YouTube and I'm just once again giving you guys the backstory of my drinking history leading up to when I said I think I'm quote unquote an alcoholic. At this point, I'm drinking with these people every day, you know what I mean, we're partying, da 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 da, and all of a sudden, I got enough subscribers, I got enough cash flow coming in, where I quit my job. Now all this at once, it came from my dad dying, which really got my alcohol up, then it continued, partying with people all the time, all of a sudden I have a job where I pick my own hours, I kept drinking all the time. Now I did not think this was an issue, and we're gonna get to this, I didn't think this was an issue until I really started to drink a lot on YouTube and a lot of followers were like bro do you have an alcohol addiction like are you fucking an addict da, 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 da. and at that point my, my, my I think innately when we have um, something that we might be doing more than the norm or people are telling us that we might be an alcoholic or whatever substance you might be doing or anything in your life I feel like it's easy for our mind to go to the simplest explanation Maybe not the simplest. I think I think it's kind of easy for a mind to just cop out and be like, yeah, you know what? That's maybe what I have. I'm not gonna try to fix it within myself because I'm an alcoholic. You know what I'm saying? That's what I have and I'll fix it when the time comes. But for right now, that's my excuse. And I feel in our minds, I, I, I feel like um, pe people love to have those excuses. You know what I'm saying? That scapegoat of just like, well, this is what it is. This is me. And that's what I did for a long time. And that's what I made the video for you guys. And I'm just updating you on my life right now. Once again, soul searching. 
that's what I did for a long time. I'm like, yeah, well, maybe I have a drinking problem, but at the same time, I don't need to fix it. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm just out partying, doing my shit, da 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 da. I'll figure it out later. So now here's the update that I'm coming with you guys at. Because you guys always ask, like, where's this at? Do to update us. I've done some soul searching, and as I've kind of said, I think it's so easy for us to just chalk up the easiest excuse we can and just accept it. But what I actually did this past month, mainly this past week, is I was like, you know what, man? Instead of chalking it up as I have an alcohol problem, why don't I just like, why don't I just try to handle it and see if maybe this is me just like loving to party? So that's kind of what I did. And what's what 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 brought this up in my mind is I looked at I had only put 15 videos out the past month. I usually try to do at least 25, 20 to 25, and I have 15. And the reason is because I was over I was hung over like every morning. So when I'm hung over, I really can't film. A bit, like I'm you know I just I'm a bitch that way. So I thought you know what this is this is taking control of my career. And I got I want you guys to listen to this because it doesn't have to be alcohol, it's anything. I'm like, you know what? This is taking control of my life. I'm not doing as well as I was doing in my career. So what if I just try to cut it out? What if I just put to the back of my mind, just even get rid of it in my mind that I have an alcohol issue and maybe I'll just try to control this myself. Try to really figure out myself how this can stop. And I mean, if you need help for things in your life, guys, definitely go get help, 100%. That's not what I'm saying, but I think it's very good uh, to know within you what the issue is and if you can control it or if you're just chalking it up as I can't control it, that's it. Like, oh, I'm addicted to weed. No, I just need it. Imagine if you just take a step back and you're like, why don't I try to just stop? Why do I, why do, why don't I just put away what everyone's saying, bro, you're addicted, you can't stop. What if I just try? So with that momentum of you guys being super dope on my past month of videos, like I've been getting so, so much support, it's unreal. I was like, you know what, man? Let's try to do like just a week of not drinking. Leave it, <laughs> leave it to happen. It's been like two weeks almost where I haven't even like thought about getting drunk. I've gotten into this like this rhythm of like, I don't want to be hungover. Being drunk doesn't even need to happen. I, I enjoy my couple of beers and I'm Gucci. So that's kind of an update. It, 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 I, I just wanted to make this video today because it was a real brain fuck to realize I actually have control of this. Maybe I don't have an alcohol issue. Maybe I just love to party and I was lacking that self-control. And I think a lot of people have that in life. I'm not even, it doesn't even have to be drugs. I, f I feel like we can, it, it could be buying things, you know what I'm saying? Buying sneakers. Oh, I just need to do this. What if we take a step back and we really think to ourselves, or maybe I could try to control this, put, put that thought in the front of my mind that says you have to do this, put it to the back, and actually use your brain and think, mm, maybe it's not the best, maybe I'll try to get out of this rhythm. So that's what I tried this, this week, this past couple weeks, and it's been going great. Like I don't even need to get drunk, and I, it's just, I just kinda want to share this with you guys, um, cause you guys are always worried about me and shit like that. I'm always p posting with beers and shit like that. But uh, I've really figured out that I, I, I think issues that a lot of people have, not all, not all whatsoever, a lot of people have bad issues, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people are actually addicted, but a lot of times I feel like we can kind of just say to ourselves, dude, maybe this isn't the case, maybe I won't take this easy way out of a description or a label on what I'm dealing with, and maybe I'll just try to fucking figure it out. And that's what I've been doing, and I just wanted to update you guys, because a lot of you guys have also been saying, Nate Brown, you've been posting more than usual. You're like, so uppity more than usual. And I've realized this past couple of weeks, or past like week and a half or whatever, of just like really not drinking much, my support's gone up so much, my video quality's been super dope, and I think that's enough to keep pushing me, like I'm still gonna get drunk, obviously. Obviously, I'm fucking 23 and I love to party, but I think that's pushed me into a zone of like I don't necessarily need to do this. I have I have better things I could be doing I've got y'all that are with me and uh, I don't know. I just wanted to kind of thank you guys for uh, For uh, for kind of just putting in my mind that I um, I'm out here for other people not just myself and I really started to read comments more and I'm like, dude, these people like want me to make videos. You know what I'm saying? These people don't want me getting drunk every single day. But in my mind, I'm like, well, that's just what I need to do. That's not the case. It's been fucking easy. I just like, it, it took you guys to really let me know that like, I have more important shit and uh, I can't let you guys down. I can't let myself down. And with, with having that backing that I'm so blessed to have, 
it made it so easy for me to just like stop getting fucked up all the time. And it's kind of blowing my mind because my girlfriend, she's like, well, why don't you just try it? I'm like, yeah, I'll try it, but I'm still gonna get fucking drunk. I've been Gucci and I owe it a lot to you guys because I, 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 I'm, once again, I'm so blessed to have this backing of people that are just like, bro, you don't need this shit. We need you, da 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 da. And that's what finally got through to me. My thick fucking skull, where I was just like, dude, maybe I don't need it. Maybe, I'll, maybe I will just listen to my people. Maybe I'm not an alcoholic. Let's test this out. Let's see if I can actually put my mental into doing this and fucking succeed. And what I've come out of this, boys, is I think I just like to party. I chalked it up so fast. It's like, man, I'm a fucking alcoholic. Da, 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 da. I got the self-control. It was just me lacking. And uh, just like not being responsible with my filming schedule and all that. And uh, just kind of doing what I think is fun. When in all reality, fun should probably come in doses. And not doses of fucking five nights a week. So there's my little update. Y'all, A lot of y'all been asking me for it. And uh, I just want to say I'm in a really good place right now. I've just been like, I've been really keeping it chill. Once again, I'm not scared to drink. Like I have a beer pretty much like before I film every video. Once again, ritual. But uh... Yeah, I, I, I want to thank you guys, mainly, and I want you guys to take any sort of advice that I've given you and just know that you have more control over your body than you think, and a lot of people do not, and a lot of people need medication to help them or, or therapy. I've been done therapy. You know, I went from when I was 11 years old to 18. Once you're 18, they kind of cut you off. I did do a little bit more after that, and when my dad died, and I'm on medication for fucking, I don't really know. It's either Tourette's or ADHD or I don't know. It helps. <laughs> I forget by now what one is for. But uh, yeah, man, just uh, just know if I can do this shit and I can really realize, wow, I actually do have control and I didn't think I did, that you guys could do this too. And uh, you know, um, yeah, I just, yeah, comes back to, I just wanted to thank you guys. I wanted to update you guys. I'm in a really good fucking place right now. And uh, I hope to keep putting up banger videos for y'all and I really appreciate your support. And I'm here um, on Real Talk whenever you want these videos where it's not just some bullshit. Um, I'm really here to like help you guys out with advice or whatever if you guys want to hit me up on Instagram, anything like that. I try to read messages quite a bit. So uh, yeah, here for you and thank you guys for being here for me. We're in a good fucking place. Name brand, I would say right now, I'd say I, I, I'm privy to drinking more than I need to, but I wouldn't say I have an alcohol issue. I, or I don't think I'm an alcoholic. I think that that was the easiest description until I actually just thought, you know what, let's try to control. And it's been great. And it's really not that hard. You know what I'm saying? At least in my case, it was not that hard. It just took some discipline. Anyway, I'm gonna cut this off. This is a long video. Little update. If you guys dig the chilling with name brand real talk type shit, y'all let me know. But I wanted to hit you guys up with a big thank you. The name brand fam's real, real strong. We're making the game the greatest of all time. Do not worry about your boy. I'm smartening up a little bit. It's about that time. I'm 23 years old. Finally, I gotta start doing it. And uh, it took a bunch of probably 13 year olds to, to, to help me out with that, which is dope. I don't, I don't. I, I don't take you guys for granted for a second. Blah. Appreciate you.